In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic edits in Darktable. To give you a bit of an introduction to making edits in Darktable, I'm just going to do some simple things like change exposure and increase some saturation. Uh, nothing major. But to start off with, uh, right now I'm in the light table view and Darkroom is where we do all the edits. Um, an easy way to change to that is to click on the photo you want to edit and uh, you could press D to switch over to Darkroom. Or I actually I just double click on it and it opens it up in Darkroom. Um, over on the left here is the history stack. All the changes we make are going to show up there. But to start with, if you look at the top right, uh, we have a histogram here. And there's some other colors there. There's some magenta, there's some blue in the background. Uh, but it's the white part of the histogram that I'm really looking at right now. And if you see, it doesn't go all the way to the right. It doesn't touch the edge of the right. And often that's something that you want in your image so you have an actual white point in it. Um, so I can increase the exposure by clicking on this little circular button here. Uh, that'll open up the basic group. And then coming down to the exposure module. You can see there's a slider here in the middle called exposure. And as you might expect, if I click on the little arrow here and drag it to the right, it's going to get brighter. If I drag it to the left, it's going to decrease the exposure. I can reset my changes by clicking on the little circle here. Now I could also um, just hover my mouse over that slider and move my mouse wheel up to increase the exposure or move it down to decrease the exposure. I think that's what a lot of people use. Um, it's a great way to make subtle changes with it. But I'm just going to reset it and I'm going to, well I'll just click and drag for now. Let's say I make a drastic change. Let's say I click and I drag the slider really far to the right. Um, you can see I've made it too bright. Uh, my histogram is going way too far to the right. I just wanted to kind of touch it, but I went too far. And if you look at the white part of this um, stuffed animal here, um, you can see it's starting to be overexposed. And a good way to tell that is if you click this little button here at the bottom, that's going to give you overexposure warnings. So you may want to turn that on. And now I can come back over to this exposure slider, hover my mouse over, and start bringing my mouse wheel down until all those little red marks go away. Uh, maybe I'll go to about there. I can click this to turn my highlight warning uh, on or off. And if I go back over the exposure module, I can just see here's what it looked like before. Here's what it looked like after. We've just brightened it up a little bit. I may even go a little bit higher, um, just depending on your taste. Or if you want to stick to the rules, get right to the edge for the histogram there. Now this stuffed animal, um, it has some really bright colors. But right now they look a little bit faded in this image. So I'm going to increase the saturation. I'm just going to click on the exposure module to hide it. I'm going to come up to the top here of the basic group and click on the module for contrast, brightness, and saturation. So again, I could uh, click and drag or I could hover my mouse over to increase or decrease it. There's a couple other ways too. Um, one that I really love is if I, if I right click on the slider, you end up with this little drop down, this line, uh, this interesting slider. And if I drag it to the right, it's going to increase the saturation. Drag it to the left, decreases the saturation. And the higher up you go, the more dramatic the changes are. So if I was at the top and I drag to the right, it's really going to increase it really fast. Same with to the left. So to make subtle changes, I usually like to come down to the bottom and just slowly bring it up and you'll see those numbers rising. Um, let's say I stopped maybe about here. Um, I could also, I'm just, I'll just reset it here, click a little circle. You could also uh, right click on it and just type in the number. I think I was at 0.12 before, click, click enter. And I've increased the saturation that way. So there's quite a few different ways to interact with these modules here. It's not just one or two. Uh, maybe before I wrap up, you can see there's a contrast slider in here as well. I think I'm going to right click on that. I'll drag this to the right a little bit, maybe to, we'll say about there. And we can see uh, there's a before, there's an after. There's more saturation, there's a bit more contrast. And if I come over to the history stack, I could actually, this is what it was like when I opened the image. This is what it looks like now after a few quick changes. Now, of course, I can keep going on. I could zoom in. I could see that there's a little mark that needs to be removed, or I could increase the shadows around the eyes. I just wanted to give a little basic introduction to what it's like uh, making changes to your images in Darktable. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you'd like to learn more, please consider purchasing the open source photography course available at rileybrandt.com lessons. More information about the course and links to all my social media sites can be found in the description below.